Third down and five. Pressure. Pass is picked off. And who is it? Do a bad dance. Do a bad dance. Do it. Do it. Do a bad dance. Do a bad dance. Do a bad dance. Do it. Do it. Do a bad dance. Do a bad dance. Do a bad dance. Do it. Do it. Do a bad dance. Do a bad dance. Welcome back, YouTubers and Madden fans. This is Mad Money Shot. Bringing, bringing some more gameplay footage. Uh, this gameplay footage is a little bit older. I want to say like two weekend leagues ago. Uh, pretty much all the gameplay I bring you guys from now uh, is from weekend leagues. That's pretty much all I play. And to get, I got to be honest, it's because it's the most rewarding uh, as far as what you get once the weekend leagues are finished. Your Wednesday uh, rewards, your Thursday rewards are pretty good. And my team is getting jacked up pretty quick uh, just by playing weekend leagues and, and, and winning games. So if you guys don't do that and you're into mutt, Please try. I mean, I, I'm guessing some people might have issues passing the prerequisite, getting three wins. Uh, but it's really not that daunting, especially since you get eight tries. I mean, I, I did it um, the first time. And if you win 11 games, you get in every week. So I haven't had to do it since. So like I said, it's definitely worth it. Um, you know, try to get those 11 wins because 11 wins alone, it gets you some pretty good, pretty good cards, some pretty good pulls, some pretty good rewards. No! Uh, first series though, I get ball and I'm forcing it. This that play is usually pretty money. That route is usually pretty money, and I throw a pick, uh, which you know, hey, it happens. You know what I mean? The game just started, uh, but that's not how you want to start it off. So he's getting the ball basically at the 50. Uh, I ain't worried about that. I believe in my defense. I have no issues. Uh, if I turn the ball over, taking a chance, couldn't care less. Because to be honest, I have that much faith in my defense that I take a lot of chances, a lot of risks these days. Um, if you're playing against really top-notch guys, you can't make those mistakes. Gotcha, bitch. Uh, but look at that. Like I said, my defense just steps up. Uh, Leonard Floyd, that's the most feared, I think, the speed or the tall. I'm not sure. Uh, Leonard Floyd, but he is a monster. So if, you, if you're looking for a relatively cheap uh, linebacker, he's a good way to go, man. He's only he's an 84 overall, and I'm guessing he's like 30,000 coins. Definitely a playmaker, as you see, he gets the he gets the pick there. So this play right here, I just put this play out. Um, it, it's I think I run it back to back plays. Yeah, this is a different variation where basically I'm motioning this guy over to try to pull coverage back is the idea. I'm not really going to throw it to him, uh, but I just put this play out and it's uh, it's usually pretty money here. I just take off though. I mean they got a big lane right up the middle. I got a nice mobile quarterback. I think this is when I have Marcus Mariota, um, who you know he's only good for his speed. You see there, I get sacked. That particular play, you can't run that play if the defensive end is on the outside like he is here you can't run that play in that direction so i go back to this play this play is pretty unstoppable um he's running he looks like a tampa two anytime i see tampa two i'm going over the top i put that play out too and i know some people have issues with that i'll try to pop up links to these plays as i'm talking about them because i know a lot of people watch my gameplay videos because they want to see how my plays get used uh during the game here yes, i could have hit triangle there man <laughs> like triangle is wide open it's so funny to watch these games back i see so much opportunity triangle is just streaking down the middle there which is kind of the point of me motioning him into the seam anyway but i'm into, i'm taking safe throws whenever i throw picks early i do kind of tone it down and don't want to make as, as many mistakes uh, as you see here i'm gonna step up again mariota taking off i just got that 93 vic um, like I said, I actually just got him in a trade, which you guys are going to see in a gameplay pretty soon here. Uh, I'm going to start putting out some gameplays with some really uh, jacked up cards to show you guys what they what they what I'm working with. Uh, but I haven't played with the Vic yet. I'll play with him this first weekend in weekend league. You see, I, I scored a touchdown there. So hit the like button if you guys want to see me do. I want to do an entire series of some of the top players, uh, basically preview, previewing these top players for you guys. I got the uh, I want to do one for the 94 Ray Lewis from the Most Feared, uh, the Tony Gonzalez Most Feared. As you see, I get what well, should have been another pick there, Leonard Floyd. Though, man, give it up for Floyd. That's two plays. Like I said, go get that guy. Two plays. He's right there. You know what I'm saying? He's just such a coverage monster. As you can see, he's just making plays on the ball. Here, I don't know, man. That's some BS. Third and 18. I mean, that's a lucky catch. You know what I'm saying? I would love to get that Randall Cunningham, but now that I got Michael Vick, I mean, Randall Cunningham is never going to make it make it to my team as long as Vick's there until he starts throwing some boo boo balls. Because, uh, like I said, he somebody traded me Michael Vick. So, uh, but it, for the most part here, I think I'm going to be rocking Vick. So, there, that's some BS. I try to step up and give him a nice nasty hit stick and I get suction blocked uh, which is just total nonsense uh, this blitz here though I just put this blitz out once again, that's got to be my man. You know what I'm saying? That coverage right there has got to be Leonard Floyd, man. Go out and get that guy. The most feared cards are probably the best cards out there right now. Except for the 91 Mutt Heroes. 
I mean, because like the, the 85 Mud Heroes are trash, but the 91, hey man, that could have been an easy pick too. He's just lofting that up. The 91 Mud Heroes are probably the best, and the most fear are probably the best out right now. Can't wait till they put out another one, man. I'm sure that the oops are coming, and uh, they're going to have something for the winter months, like Christmas and whatnot. Um, here, that's just a good play. I mean, I, I, what are you going to do right there? He broke that off nice. Um, so this guy here is definitely, he's definitely throwing some wild balls. I mean, he's got Randall Cunningham. I'm trying to send a lot of heat. As you can see, it's forcing throws. He's definitely having to move in the pocket. Uh, I got to stop. You know, I keep getting these big hitting players. I, I look for hit power, but I swear, man, hit, 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 hit power doesn't do anything anymore. I can't remember last time I had a bunch of fumbles. Like in solos, I'd be getting fumbles every other play. But in the games, I wasn't be getting fumbles. So it is what it is. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It just doesn't have that effect anymore. Here, look at that. I mean, typically, like in a, in a solo, that would have been ball out. You know what I'm saying? But in, in actual gameplay, the hit power just seems meaningless. If you guys agree or disagree, let me know in the comment section on that. I'd really be interested to know. Because for the most part, I keep looking for guys with high hit power, and it just really seems like I don't ever get fumbles. You know what I'm saying? I really got to just, just look, look at zone and look at, you know, speed, stuff like that, because these the, the hit power trait really seems to be pointless. Uh, but like I said, let me know if you agree. If you guys get a lot of fumbles, let me know in the comment section. Cause I get zero now. Uh, but either way, this guy's moving right down the field. If you haven't noticed, he's running a straight hurry up with a minute left. And my, I, I just keep running the same defense, and he's just carving it up. Uh, I could, I mean, I, I'm sure down here in the goal line, I'm hoping I was smart enough. I don't even remember watching this to switch it up to a cover two, but it looks like I didn't. So, you know, sometimes when somebody's running something like this on you, I guess you just get stupid uh, because I totally could have did that. But I did, I think I did at least hard flat, but it was still from a cover three because there's no way that that dude would have been down there in the box like that sitting back. So at least I was smart enough to hard flat there um, to make the play. Uh, hard flatting again, though, from uh, about 10 yards out is probably not the best thing, and that's exactly what I did. So I'm trying to cover this flanker, and you know what? You can't cover both. You know what I'm saying? That's the same route on both sides. So he cars me up, gets the touchdown. Now he gets ball in the second half. And, um, you know what I'm saying? We're getting, look at these nasty hits, man. No hit power. <laughs> it does not matter. So we're still sending this blitz, and he's, he's having some success running against it. I haven't had the most, uh, the most pressure from it uh, so far. Um, and I actually think I get away from it at one point. So here, look at that lurk. Gotcha, bitch. Look at that lurk. You know what I'm saying? That was just nice. And with a DT, too? With, with Tom, Aaron Donald? <laughs> I thought they said defensive line. We're supposed to be able to catch. So I can lurk it with the DTs. I don't care. This play here, like I said, I'm planning on putting this play out. This is probably going to come out tomorrow. Uh, it's just such a money play. And then, like I said, this one here, once again, I already put this one out. Um, but uh, this the, the play I just put out, if you guys want to see how that breaks down, it's just pretty much a guaranteed a good amount of yards. This is here just a bad throw off my back foot. No! Like running, almost getting sacked. That was just a bad decision. That that play typically works if you can set your feet and fire a bullet, but throwing off your back foot like that, especially Mariota, man, he's trash. This is the A6 Mariota. I had to get rid of him pretty quick. He just wasn't getting it done. I'm so excited for this weekend league. This weekend league, I got Vic and Randy Moss coming. You know what I'm saying? Another guy I want to do a, a series on Randy Moss. I mean, I had, a, I had a series on him last year, a video on him last year. He's pretty dirty. So, like I said, keep an eye out for these gameplays. Is my dude dead there? Look at that. <laughs> oh, he just rose from the dead and fell again. What is going on? That's a crazy glitch. And then look at that. The two TT user blurs. That's Solomon Thomas. The gold Solomon Thomas with it with, with my second defensive tackle user lurk. Who does that? You know what I'm saying? That's defense right there, baby. How many people can say that they can lurk? Look at that, man. X right up the middle. I love that play. And I got such a better tight end running it now. Uh, than I did back then. And look at this. This dude here, he's just giving me huge run lanes. And I'm going to take him. You know what I'm saying? If you're going to come out here and disrespect me. How dare you? How dare you? With the, with the, with the defense like that, I'm going I'm to switch over to a run. Didn't get a whole lot. But you know what? Positive yards is positive yards. I'll take it. He's doing it again. So I actually switched over here, running again. We're just going to power it up with my man AP. And if you ain't got no beef on the field, man, it's just, you know what I'm saying? AP going to eat. You know what I'm saying? You gotta have you gotta have some people out there. So here, I mean, I'm just all over the place. I mean, I sniffed that out and he got wide, so he couldn't use his blockers. And the second he couldn't use his blockers, the cornerbacks came in and finished that off. Uh, but I mean, I'm like I said, I'm using the DT, but I'm just all over the place, man. You know what I'm saying? I I don't know a lot of people that can lurk with a DT like I can lurk with a DT. That's just how this play set up. I typically am sending the house up the middle and I and I cover with a DT. You know what I'm saying? That's like I said, it's unique. I, I don't know a lot, a lot of people that do that ever. You know what I mean? See, defensive ends, I try, I try to use them as much as I can, uh, too. But, um, you know, that's, it just is what it is. So this right here, uh, I'm, I'm setting up that blitz again. I haven't gotten the most pressure. And I think part of it is because he's getting the ball off. But you can see guys are getting through, but he's just getting it out so quick. You know what I mean? It's, it's, it's 
you know, there's just no, there's no answer when people can, can diagnose it in, in quick pass. So here, I finally get that pressure I want. Anthony Barr, he's holding on to it a little bit longer than he has in the past, and we're forcing a third and 19. So now, I mean, game's running out, man. He's got to get somewhere, and here, I'm just, you know, I'm lurking it. You know what I'm saying? I knocked the ball away, fourth and 19. I didn't get the pick, which would have been nicer, but fourth and 19. So here, I'm running a cover four. It seems like every time I run a cover four, I, 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 it just doesn't work out. I mean, that's what they say. Prevent defense prevents winning but not today though as the ball comes out i'll take that you know what i'm saying my ball he actually takes this opportunity to, to think about quitting he goes to the quit screen uh, i hit anytime somebody goes to the quit screen I, I go right back into the game if you're gonna quit quit if you're not let's get it over with you know what i mean so he i guess he thought about it changed his mind he still has time with three timeouts two minutes left he still has a chance uh, to shut me down and win this game and i guess you know first you know right at the gate he he, he thought better but if your mind is already towards quitting it's not going to take much to break your back and finish you off so here on first and 10 i don't know I, I guess i really didn't like what i was seeing i go ahead and i switch up the play uh, and my audibles really aren't that great i almost ran out of time actually um with uh, with a second left on the clock uh, he knocks me back a few and i guess he gets a you gets a little brave you know what i'm saying he hits that timeout thinking that he's going to get the ball back and then on the very next play i diagnose something a little bit better we got that x route over there safe catching and that's game you know what i'm saying it, it still still had two timeouts still had the two minute warning anybody with a little bit of fight would have kept going but not this bum play the game play it from your heart so he quits uh god squad and all only gets seven points um, and I could have kept going. I mean, I could have probably easily kicked the field at least. But either way, if you guys want to see more gameplay footage, do me a favor, hit the like button, and I'll do that. Other than that, thanks for watching, man. Money shit out. If you need more help or just want to show your support, then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my vids and more. Link in the description below.